The United States adding Bitcoin to its national reserves could propel the price of BTC to unprecedented levels. With Donald Trump back in the White House, the concept of a strategic Bitcoin reserve is rapidly moving from speculation to serious conversation. We would have an asset that's growing in value while our own dollar is decreasing in value. Country now holds 232,000 Bitcoin. We think that Trump could bump that up to over a million. But just how likely is it to happen? And what could it mean for the future of Bitcoin and the global financial system? Let's dive in. Let's first understand what national reserves are. These are the assets a government holds to protect the country's financial stability during crisis. They often include gold, foreign currencies and other resources like oil. The key question here is, could Bitcoin be added to this list of vital economic tools? Proponents say that Bitcoin's limited supply and decentralized nature makes it a strong hedge against inflation, much like gold. Furthermore, adding Bitcoin to national reserves would diversify the US asset holdings, spreading risk and creating a more balanced portfolio. Trump himself suggested that such a reserve could help tackle the US massive national debt, using Bitcoin's potential for long-term growth to strengthen the country's financial position. However, Trump's vision for a Bitcoin strategic reserve is fairly broad. It could just mean the US would stop selling the Bitcoin it has already confiscated during criminal investigations. This stockpile alone could significantly contribute to a future reserve. But there is a more bullish scenario. Senator Cynthia Loomis introduced the Bitcoin Act in July. Under her proposal, the US would purchase up to 200,000 Bitcoin each year for five years, eventually accumulating 1 million Bitcoin, roughly 5% of the total supply. This reserve would be managed through secure Bitcoin vaults under the US Treasury. So this plan would not require additional debt, but rather suggests reallocating existing Federal Reserve assets like bonds and gold to fund the reserve. Lummis believes Bitcoin's long-term growth potential could help the US reduce its national debt by half in just 20 years. What that does is help us protect ourselves against inflation and protect the US dollar on the world stage. These legislative efforts are already making progress at the level of uh, individual states. For instance, Pennsylvania recently introduced a bill allowing its treasury to allocate up to 10% of state funds into Bitcoin. If successful, these state-level initiatives could set a precedent for federal adoption of a strategic Bitcoin reserve. So how realistic is the scenario of a Bitcoin reserve being adopted by the United States? At the time of recording, Polymarket shows a 24% chance that the US will establish a Bitcoin reserve under Trump's presidency. Given that Republicans control the House of Representatives, the Senate and the White House, there's a strong chance the Bitcoin bill could pass quickly. Lomis is optimistic. She believes the bill could be approved within the first 100 days of Trump's presidency. However, there is an alternative route. Analysts at the Bitcoin Policy Institute have proposed that the US Treasury could purchase Bitcoin through the Exchange Stabilization Fund. This fund is designed to stabilize the US dollar and does not require congressional approval. By using this mechanism, the Treasury could expedite the process of building a Bitcoin reserve, bypassing potential political delays. So what could this move mean for Bitcoin's price? Mike Novogratz, CEO of Galaxy Digital, believes Bitcoin could reach half a million dollars if a US Bitcoin reserve becomes reality. He argues that if a nation like the US starts hoarding Bitcoin, others will follow. Imagine nation states competing to accumulate Bitcoin. The surge in demand would be unlike anything seen in Bitcoin's history. In this scenario, even $500,000 per Bitcoin might be conservative. Adam Beck, CEO of Blockstream, takes it further. He predicts Bitcoin could reach $1 million, driven by massive demand from governments entering the market. Of course, there are critics who raise several valid concerns. First, Bitcoin is still seen as a volatile and speculative asset. Its price fluctuations could pose significant risks, especially if the government depends on it as a reserve asset. Second, for Bitcoin to offset half of the US government's debt by 2045, its market cap would need to exceed a quintillion dollars. That is far beyond all current projections. And finally, Bitcoin was designed as a decentralized currency, free from government interference. Critics worry that by accumulating such a large amount of Bitcoin, the US could undermine its core principles. So what do you think? Will we see a strategic Bitcoin reserve in the US next year? And if that happens, do you think it would be a positive move for both Bitcoin and the US economy? Drop your comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights. I'm Giovanni. 
see you next time.